love bugs it's Rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it's truly truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and um if you feel like the video just give you a good vibe or you really truly resonate please go ahead and share it'll be greatly appreciated and i'm sending so much love and light and anybody i already tell you all the time well i've been telling that often i've been saying that all the time but hey you know my my videos and myself is very highly protected and very you know divinely love so whatever you're coming up to seek and destroy or distract is going to come right back to center so you know except it's going to be love blessings and healing coming back to your way and the videos that i'm about to do right well the video i'm about to do right now is twin flame 101 hey okas when you look into the mirror don't focus on what you're facing focus uh uh see the warrior of what you what you have overcome that was true i said i was gonna do this video before and i remember i was watching what it was one of my videos i was watching where uh it was either the one about you know you don't want to be strong all the time or uh what was the other one i forgot what it was um where it was just basically just saying you know you can look into the mirror and you can just stay focused you know a lot of times we get towards our time we talk to the universe we talk to ourselves you know and it's okay you know a lot of people are like you talking to yourself yeah i need to have an expert's opinion you're like hey don't disturb i'm having a staff meeting you know and it'll be okay you want to get the expert's advice and you're going through different things in your life where you know when you look at the mirror are you in love with what you see are you watching the flaws or you know you may be overweight and you may be underweight or you don't like how your face look or you know you, you don't love your hair or something like that or are you just seeing the person and it's just like dag I really went through some things you know I really faced a lot of things and it was like there was so many things that were sent into my life that was seeking to destroy me but yet you know somehow some kind of strange way I'm still here and that's what they want you know you really want to see the warrior in that and a lot of times it's really hard to do that when you are facing the greatest things because it's just like you know when you're a trooper you'll see how different people react to little things you know and it was just like man i wish i had your daggone type of stress because if you already knew what i was dealing with you wouldn't be able to handle it and it's like even the people that placed you in different situations truth the matter if the shoe was on the other foot they wouldn't have been able to you know deal with that and that's the reason why they put that on you because there'll be certain things they're not able to deal with but universe god um placed those on you just to be able to break down anything there's no longer needed anything that was based off of a lie or anything that was based off of an illusion that you or some kind of form of weakness to where they're going to tell you your 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 most in in depth weakness is going to be your most prominent strength these are the different things that's like you know um i say a lot a lot of times you know devil and god go hand in hand but they got two different agendas you know devil wants you to second guess yourself and want to make sure you, you think god's lying he's playing with your feelings he got you doing all this and this and that to receive nothing and then it'll be god wants you to be able to see the darkness and everything being able to see how people disappoint you how it hurts you and this and this and that because you may have put your faith in a situation you may have put your faith in a person where he's telling you let you know regardless of what you're going through i'm always here with you i want you to put your faith in me don't put your faith in man because man will disappoint you all the time that will straight leave you. even your shadow leaves you dur during a different time of day you know and these are those different things where you know you you go through things you you know and I always tell people you your your pain is bringing you some kind of purpose to be able to not just help and reflect you on what needs to heal what needs to uh, detach what you need to change focus on what you need to forgive what you need to let go of and you know and a lot of times when you when you're allowing yourself to be in that vibration of authenticity you know, like I tell people, I'm very transparent. If I know I got to lie about it, I'm just not going to talk about it. Or, you know, be different things where I tell people, yeah, I don't, I don't say stuff on my, vibe, you know, on my uh, channel. And you go back on and stuff like that. And I really don't, you know, I really don't talk bad about somebody. You know, I really don't gave them the business or really, I really put my power in certain things that was just totally out of my control. Or I allowed myself to stay in villains when this was only supposed to be a one-time moment thing. And I can be able to say that because it's just like, shoot, I'm, you know, I'm, 
you know, I'm human too. You know, I got human experience. I have accidents. There'll be times where I felt some type of way. And if I can go back and look at certain situations, I was like, Dag, I was really putting my power in a certain thing. Or, Dag, I was really allowing myself to be in that victim mentality. Or, ooh, I was in that, that vibration of being a pity party. Because it's like we can be our own worst critic. We can be our own worst nightmare and our own worst enemy. But it, it'll be that time where this is at that moment where you're defining the the the, the deep definition of who you truly are through the things that are within your surroundings you know God you get bit mad at God like Lord I'm struggling I'm going through this I'm going through that why are you allowing me to go through this and it's just like there's a point that I'm trying to get you to reach to understand why I'm guiding you to this I'm not doing this to you I'm guiding you to this it's teaching you it's learning you what do I need to learn that's why we always tell you you know sometimes it's really hard for you to change your perspective when you're going through so much at that time and you can be so angry about different things and um I don't know if y'all just I was like what the heck was that <laughs> I was like okay I'm about to leave this day in room I'm like look I'm talking to some dead people but I ain't trying to deal with all that because I just seen something just fly across there I don't know if you've seen that shadow or not but you know going through all those different things it, it can be very hard when you're going through the tough of the toughest because what you're going through is not petty what you're going through is not simple you're going through some very harsh things and for you to go through some very harsh things and you're trying to understand i don't know if i can take no more of this i don't know if i can do this i don't know if i can do that and then it'll be with me not everybody deal with things the same way some i can get mad so mad at god i put fire under my own butt and i'm like you know what i'm gonna put myself in a positive position i'll put myself in a positive thing because like i said i love doing my videos i could be in a funk and then it'll guide me to talk about something then i'll get the revelation of that truth of what i was needing to understand or why that put me in a funk and it was just like it's okay we all have moments like i tell y'all it's okay to not be okay all the time you can be the most strongest person even the most strongest person got weak moments and you are a strong person when i say man look i have my moments that's a strong person. A weak person is going to act like they, they ain't nothing can touch them. They're untouchable. And now a lot of times that's your biggest mistake when you feel like you're untouchable. I'm like, shoot, I ain't going to try to say that. But I'm going to live for my moments on what I need to do. I'm living in, a, a, you know, uh, healing every day. Learning the different things that I really need to know from a deeper, deeper level. Allowing myself to force myself. Because it's like, I got ADD. I got OCD. I got CPTSD. I got too many daggone acronyms I got to deal with where it'll frustrate me and it's just like why am I allowing this and break it down to a science and then I'm like oh okay and then we just changing that and it's just like when, when God gave me the gifts to set up here and move through the changes and then when I'm moving through my changes it's allowing me to reflect on things and have an aha moment so I can project them and put them on here because there's a lot of people that go through stuff I get many comments on people saying Rylan I've been going through stuff for four or five years and I can go through five videos of yours and you done cleared out something that I probably had to sit up here and pay for therapy for you know for 10 years and you done just put it down to like about two hours and it will allow me to know this is what my purpose is. I love being able to help people while I'm helping myself. Allowing myself to see the views of my experience through my trauma, through my struggle, through my mishaps, my setbacks, my failures, my, my confusion, my chaos. And being able to allow myself to say, hey, I've been through this. I've been through that. It's not for attention. It's not for, you know, uh, for people to feel sorry for me. But it's just like being able to say, I've been in that type of vibration. I understand what it is. I understand what I need to know. I had to overcome this. And now let me give you that 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 information that hidden gem that I had to find within myself that you that I can share with you for you to do the same thing and so when we're doing all these different things God he always wants us you know God universe our guys you know our loved ones that passed on people that truly care about us and really want to see more of out of our lives than what we are facing what we're going through what we stay focused on you know because it's, it's giving you to that point where like I'm always alone and it's like no you're not you're you got spiritual enforcements around you and yeah I took out all these people in your life because they can't go where you're going they're not on that same vibe as you you don't know what they were saying about you you don't know what kind of plans they were doing behind your back you don't know what things they were plotting you know all these different things I want to bring people in your life that's going to really understand that they're going to sing with that note that you projected you know and it's going to be a beautiful collaboration it's going to be people in vibes that's either going to be on that vibe of you or they're going to be higher than you and they're going to be really able to take you to that next step or those are going to be the people that are going to stay with you for a lifetime 
you know I was saying in other video um it'll be different times you can be around people for a lifetime and they really don't understand you and it'll be a person like one or two people gotta bring into your life for only an hour and understand your whole life and be like this is these are my people and you be like wait a minute this ain't even my family and it's just like family is not always blood it would be the, the spiritual, you know, vibrations. You know, I went through a lot of people in my life because of this situation. And I went through a lot more just for being on my YouTube channel. And it's like, it, it took me a long time for me to not look at my situation in a, a negative way. When I had people stabbing me in my back, and, you know, doing whatever. And it was just like, God never told me how these people would stay into my life. You know, your situation is very, you know, conflicting. And not, well, not conflicting. It's very uh, complicated. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to find a different word. It's very... Uh, it's something like you can't come back from when you find out those things, you know, and a lot of a lot of people can't digest that, and I have to be able to understand that, you know. And there will be different times where it's just like, how am I going to be able to keep going through this, knowing the situation I'm in is hard to be able to deal with this every day. And he's like, I never told you it was going to be easy. But when you finally allow yourself to overcome these different things and you allow me to teach you what you need to know, this is going to be that warrior that you cannot be touched. You know, you, you're going to be in knowing you protected in every form, every move you make that we're guiding you towards. If it's com coming in connection with you, it's going to teach you something. You know, if it, it takes something away, it's planning to bring something else back in there. And it's going to be something way better than it got taken away. You know, and if there are certain things that you're being vibed on the uncertainty, there's going to be something that's going to be an ultimate blessing to you that you can, you know, you will choose to understand. It's like a lot of times when we're going through stuff and the way we focus on it, the way we allow ourselves to get in our feelings about it, we can't really see. It's like, the you know, the answer is right in front of you. Where? <laughs> you know, where? Where is it? Where is it? You know, and then when it's just like when you're in frustration, you get flustered. It's hard for you to really see the positive, you know, insight of what you may be facing. A lot of times it's hard for you to be able to, especially if it's like, you know, and it's like, how is it easy when you're going through grief? You're going through mourning, you know, you just lost somebody. And it's just like, I, I can't even really give an answer on that, you know, um, especially if you've been a person like me, you know, lost a lot of people in your life, you know, and it got to that point where it was like the last person I lost in my life that was very near and dear to me. It was a person I connected with here and they lost their life. And when you're talking about, I did not want to get anybody so close to me ever again because I said it didn't look right. You know, I felt like I failed him. You know, all the different things on how he, you know, he transitioned and stuff like that because it happened. You know, and then he comes to me all the time. Don't you ever stop doing what you're doing. This is not your fault. You were there. You were the best part of my transition I went through. You were the best part because you allowed me to be me. You didn't allow me to be judged. You know, you didn't make me feel like I was crazy or you know, I needed to be locked up. You did not judge me. And you were the best person about that. So don't you ever feel like that you need to stop doing what you're doing because my life, I, I took my life, you know. And those are the different things where it, it was just like when I, when I told you that crushed me. I could not even process anything. And I said, I'm done. I had so many different things that came off where, you know, there, there's questions that I'm not having, you know, about my father's death or, you know, the situations with, you know, surround my situation it was so many different things and it was just like i was like I'm, I'm protecting you you are loved regardless of what has happened i know whatever happened to you this didn't it didn't sit right with you i didn't intend it for it to sit right but what i am proud of you for because the fact is when you found out the truth about your life and what was concluded about that and the surroundings of the people that was involved in that it could have really took you somewhere it could have really took you somewhere. And you have overcome a lot of things that people wouldn't have had the guts or the balls to sit up here and touch. And that's what I allowed you to go through. Because there were going to be some different times. And I said in my other video. This, even, even if this directed to you. Even though it, you know people did what they did to you. I allowed you to go through this. Because there are going to be some people that are going to go through some stuff. And I mean really go through some stuff. And they're going to need some kind of connection with somebody. And not saying I'm the... You know, the, the mighty God, the, you know, uh, Buddha and not like that. But it'll be something that you were going through. And I feel like everybody got some some kind of situation that hit deep. And you don't realize that experience of what you challenge, what you overcome, what you're conquering, what you're facing, what you done had a setback on, a mistake. All the different things. And they all created a, a, a cluster of a beast that you did not know that was there. It was just waiting for you. You know, even th that inner part of you, your higher self, is waiting for everything to get into direct alignment. And when I tell you, the universe is going to be cheering you on. That's why they always tell you, you're a beautiful person. You can, I mean, you can sit up here and have eyes on the back of your daggone head, and you're still a beautiful person. 
you know you may not be the 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 size ten, you know the size zero or you feel like you're not rated the 10 you know all these different things they don't want you to face that but let's, let's look at a person that has overcome so many different things look at a person that was always projecting love out when you had nobody that had a drop of the dime let's sit up here and you know, turn it back on you or stab you in the back or talk bad about you or you give, you know, uh, encouragement and support and um, stuff to people when you never experience somebody giving you that uplift telling you can do anything in the world and no dream that you have is ever too big or, you know, you got people that are, you know, that are really going to believe in you or you're going to have people that want to invest in you. You didn't have that, but you gave that encouragement to somebody else. That's what God wants you to understand. You know, because there's a lot of things we go through and we really don't understand why does it have to be so hard. We really don't understand why does it have to be so brutal. Why do, you know, why are people ganging up on me when I did nothing but love them, you know, or try to be in their life or try to get approval. You know, a lot of times we don't get that. But then it was just that, that time where you get to that, 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 that bulb or over your head and saying to love yourself know your worth and people want to take you for granted don't appreciate your presence allow them to appreciate you in your absence they can't fill a void of what you have placed into them people's lives you can't fill a void of what glued something together they're just not going to do that they can put anything on that but it's not going to be you you know and those are the different things they want you to come back from or you know even if there's people that didn't support you you support you if people want to neglect you you be your greatest teacher you be your greatest cheerleader and being able to know there's going to be some people in your life they're going to invest in you they can when i tell you they're going to smell your energy before you even walk in the room you probably somewhere now where you if you you know you're being consistent and it just seemed like you know you could be doing a blogger or you could be a website and there'd be people just looking and not really doing nothing and you don't know how there could be a person that's ready to invest in you, but they want to just see, you know, what you go through when things get bad or what you go through when people are not really acting like they see you or hear you. They want to see how you be able to handle things when things are really just not blowing up for you. And it could be different people that are doing the same thing as you and you just seeing people blow up next to right, left, you know, left, right, left, right, left, right. It don't make you feel discouraged. Make you feel defeated because it'd be that like you'd be mad at God. I'm like, you don't see all the effort I'm putting in different things. You don't see how many people I help. You don't see how things I, I've donated things to people and not even want anything in return. And this is what you do to me. You keep rubbing stuff like this in my face. You know, you keep making me wait. And then next thing you know, you keep and, and, and he'll keep telling you. I want you to look in the mirror and I want to. I want you to see how much you have overcome. How many things you accomplish. You know, how far, even though you ain't exactly where you be, look how far you have came. You know, don't be sitting up here, you know, measuring out, you know, the staircase when I told you just focus on the steps. You know, I had to be able to tell myself that. I'm like, man, I've been doing this mess for six years. And with my situation, you would have thought that it would have been blowing up by now. But God allowed me to take my time because there's so many different things that I had to learn about myself. You know, learn about forgiveness, learn about letting go, learn about loving myself, knowing my worth, you know being able to respect myself having aiming for higher standards you know saving myself for I, till I get married all these different things I had to go through being able to allow people to know my dark moments in my life because my dark moments help me get to my light moments my darkness my evil darkness I had to be able to love and cherish that so I can be able to know I, I can't have one without the other I can't sit up here and be void in the darkness and be comfortable in the light because you won't appreciate the light until you live through that darkness that's where that darkness is gonna really show show up and show out when you get towards that light and you're going through all these different things in your life and it's not easy you know you can be by yourself because I mean it'll be different times where just like on my other video the other day I was like it took everything I had not to cry and then I was getting choked up and I was just telling people y'all said man look you going through different things you going through the moments because it's like right now stuff is getting heavy so stuff is really getting heavy like you be ready to just go one for one and square up with God like look you, you know all this stuff here put me all through these situations do you want to add another one are you out your mind? It was like, no, I ain't out my mind. But I know you can do this, and this is at a point where I'm going to get you in a situation where it's going to come so crazy. You know you're going to do this. And when you realize that you've been standing in your way the whole time, or you've been holding on to things you feel like you can't move on unless you have these things with you, when I clearly tell you, no, you don't, You can. these are the things that's holding you back. These are the ones that's holding you back. These people are the ones that's holding you back. How you looking, how you moving, how you speaking is what's holding you back. I want you to start thinking highly of yourself. I want you to start speaking righteous of yourself, better for yourself. You know, want you to, you know, speak up here with yourself. 
If you did not have those people in your life to guide you towards the things that you knew you wanted better and you deserved better, you wouldn't be able to know that if you didn't go through this. If I would have gave you that blessing, you really wouldn't have appreciated it because it would have been in and out. Because a lot of times we'll see people, especially people that may do grimy to you, and it'll be like you'll see a blessing coming there. It's like, I worked hard and you won't get this to them and this and this and that. It was like, yeah, you don't you you don't know the full connection on that. And when it's just like, I ain't even about to get that secret away. I got too many people that's hating on me. So I'm going to sit up here. I'm going to allow you to know when you get to that point, you're going to understand why those people that did you wrong got blessings like that and you didn't because it's just like when God got you waiting for a long time it, it's going to be something that, that you didn't even understand you won't be able to comprehend and a lot of times that takes it a lot longer because there are certain things he really wants you to recognize within him as well as within yourself you know because a lot of times I'm like, I can't do this I can't take one more day it is y'all about to make me catch a charge y'all gonna it was like you really gonna make me practice in that mirror about what side is a good side to take this daggone mug shot it'll be one of those moments and God like no nah, it ain't gonna be that type of party bro it ain't gonna be that type of party sis it's not because I got you I'm building you up better than whatever it is it is just like if we you know and a lot of times I gotta tell people you know when we going through moments and I even gotta remind myself it's like it, all the stuff you're going through, if God felt like you weren't going to be able to shake this, if God didn't feel, feel like you can't part ways with certain situations, certain people, or you can't heal from certain drastic things, do you think he would have picked you? If he knew you were wimpy, 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 you are the weakest link goodbye, you think they would have picked you? Uh uh. He wouldn't have picked you. Because he already knows some kind of way. Well, he already know. We think there's some kind of way. I'm going to get through this. I don't know how. You know, I don't know where, you don't know why, I don't know how long it's going to take. But no matter how long it takes, when you allowing yourself to show up, even when you allowing yourself to be all right for today, I'm proud of you. You know, because a lot of times, whatever you're facing, I know what I'm facing. I don't know what you're facing. And if, we, if we come in one-on-one, -on -one, I may be able to know what you're facing before you tell me. But that's a whole other story. But being able to go through the things that you go through, and you can get mad. It's like, you know, you know it can be dope totally different things is coming in your mind that a lot of people did this this that and the third but it's like even though they did this we picked you to overcome this you don't realize how many people you you are gonna be that one that's gonna set a prime example for many people that doubted or well, I can see that person going through this and there ain't no way they're gonna be able to overcome this and God was like we don't want to make a bit <laughs> you want to make a bet and, and, and that's what he's like you, you want to make a bet because I'm using that one I'm using you for the battle your story is going to be his story you know his story you know and going through these different things so a lot of times you know you got to shake yourself off to, don't look at yourself and, and be thinking about everything that you're facing on a day to day basis but just being able to remind yourself and a lot of times like I said you know it's easier said than done but when you can allow yourself to say, look at how much I overcome, look how many things was taken from me, but yet I'm still here. Look how many things I'm suffering from, but yet I'm still here. Look how many things that was sent, sent this to destroy me, but yet I'm still here. You know, and that's what universe, this is where you get into that mind and that motive to keep it moving. You know, there'll be a day when you may have a setback. That's all right. But when you get back up, they tell you, you better come back stronger than your butt that fell back. Spring forward. You don't fall back. We ain't clocks. You know, hey, we keep on going. You on soil like that. You're going to be in that resurrection, that eagle. You're going to go through some kind of pain. That's what breaks you to build you up, to be stronger. You know, and this is where warriors are. Because if you look at characteristics of warriors, we come from a brutal line of lineages of that, 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 that ancestor tribes. Those are some beasts. You know, we got some that's out in the upfront, and we got some that's sitting in the shadows just waiting. You know, like what color, you know, what color the war paint we're going to put on the day when we take them to that fire ritual. Because I see a lot of people going to a fire ritual because it's phase two. I don't know who's like people out here in this phase two. Where people are going to them fire rituals in the middle of the night and they tipping through the tulips of the woods and stuff like that. You got that going, uh, you know, uh, what, what is it, owls and you got eagles and you got... You know, the tigers and some people got these lions and stuff like that. And then some people got these wolves and stuff. Wombats, all whatever it is. You got a whole zoo coming with you. But there'll be some of them, some of y'all shamans and stuff like that. And the watchers, y'all don't even know what y'all rubbing up against. And it's just like whatever you're doing. I see them when I see, when I when I tell you when I see it. And only can go up to it because universal. 
ancestry tell me don't you do all that <laughs> she's not gonna tell you a snippet and that's all i can be able to do and the rest of them know what, what's going on but it's just like the higher ups know what i'm talking about when i say phase two phase two you know you're going through that and it is just like you know you're going through those fire rituals and when that rich when that fire start when you start speaking in tongues because a lot of us is at that point where you start opening up and it's just just like uh you speak hold on y'all my baby's my baby's trying to get up in here and i don't want her busting my door hold on just a second <laughs> all right sorry about that y'all that was, that was probably a higher up so i'm like ah don't be <laughs> like okay okay but it's just like basically the only thing i can tell you this supposed to be a meeting soon uh and, and it's just like there's some of y'all that that are having fire rituals and the fire is changing colors when y'all talking and that's leave it at that <laughs> just leave it at that so i'm trying to be obedient they say you can say something without really saying anything at all and the people that are on that guy on that vibe you know hey they'll know exactly what i'm talking about but um you know there's different things that you're going through and it's just like when it's showing you what you're going through and it'll be different things where you'll start getting little snippets you know because there's a lot of us are getting downloads can you go sit down please ma'am i'm over here doing my video stop trying to get attention give it to you later but you know going through all those different things um you'll start getting downloads and the mess will be very vivid you're trying to understand what the heck does this mean what are y'all trying to tell me and it'll be just like don't focus too hard on a lot of times it's, it's crazy because you're dealing with i'm like wait a minute it'll be different times you don't know, woke up like can't breathe i'm like oh, i ain't going right back to sleep at all not for a good minute go go watch some puppies or you know kittens or something because that was just a little bit too much come here you, you want to come over here you want to be on the camera is that what it is okay then go sit your little butt down there but you know you're going through these little things in, in, into your life not little things but you're going through these things to really prove to you how strong you really are how resilient you really are how much you are fierce you know and, and to that point where you are untouchable you can't do that stop you know and you got so many different things riding for you so allow yourself to keep moving you know i know a lot of times wherever you're facing you know it can be hard to just walk away and say you know hey it's gonna be this hey it's gonna be that but it, it's just like allow yourself to really face what you can for that day and just being able to understand you can keep telling yourself you know um you're gonna get through this whatever it is you're gonna get through it so uh i hope you're able to resonate with the uh content of the video i'd love to give a post notification up so uh to stephanie uh, garcia much love to you you know welcome to the fam and storm much love to you um and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video as i said already and forgot that i said that um i leave all my contact information in the description box below it's all about you know spiritual networking whether you want to just get insight on uh, different things you may have gone through and trying to understand you know why certain things take place and why is it and where is it leading to and i try my best to be able to help out it's all about a blessing about being a student teacher type situation where we're really trying to help each other heal you know vibe you know just keep on going through the ascension of vibes and you know go through transition of being able to know you're not the only one facing this you know there's more people out there and i love to be able to connect with y'all in that way so uh you know whatever we speak on is confidential and i try my best to be able to help out because you know a lot of things we go through we try to understand hey is this you know stop girl um is, is this normal i always tell people we hell this <laughs> ain't, ain't no way what we face is normal at all it ain't around the block now a lot of people sit up here it'd be some wtf moments and wth moments like i oh <laughs> they're like i ain't about to tell nobody this if it weren't filmed they would not believe it but you know whatever it is i try to help be able to help out the best way i can and whatever we speak on is confidential if you're ever interested i also do my podcast or even if you're interested in doing podcasting please you know let me know hit me up um and i'll try my best to be able to help out the way it is because i really love my podcast i ain't been on it in a minute so you know hey it's about to get come back up um so uh you know if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation cash app is there as well you know whatever you're trying to manifest into your life into fruition and you're having trouble with them so you so many beautiful vibes whether it's consistency uh self-belief self-faith patience and stuff like that i'm sending all that towards you you know keep on doing it what to do it what are you seeing oh cool okay 
distraction <laughs> distraction 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 but anyways allow yourself to be consistent and persistent with yourself be very determined and motivated because whatever you got going on into your life that god is trying to help you bring out is going to be something that you never expected so um keep it moving you know don't stay sleep stay straight up woke with you believe in yourself because the devil and your enemies see your potential and see your light they have no problem with trying to make you second guessing and dim it so you, you know they may make you want to work and give it off up today because they know a blessing towards you is open, open tomorrow so you know hey even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words wise frequency they never know all those things really takes my a long way and just for your helping and doing what you need to do you know hey it's going to take you even further so much love to you god bless shalom i say love you and you'll see me on my next video peace